What's up everybody, I'm Cindy Goodman and in today's Daily Fix, PS5 loses a launch exclusive to delay, Space Jam 2's jersey reveal, and hey, more Fiesta. That's a play on an arcade fire song, but we're talking Matrix 4. Roll the thing! This year's next-gen console launch is sure to be unlike any before it. Last week, Halo Infinite, the Xbox Series X's heavy-hitting launch title was delayed, and now PS5 has a launch-exclusive delay of its own. Arkane has announced that Deathloop has been delayed to Q2 2021, which means it will land next spring sometime between April and June. The Dishonored developers, as in they're known for the Dishonored games, not that they're dishonored because of the delay, explained in a statement on Twitter that the working-from-home situation required due to COVID-19 has meant that the creation and polish of the game is taking, quote, longer than normal. The statement did end on a positive note as Arcane promises that the next update on the game is coming soon. I've always been extremely understanding of delays. It's a bummer, yes, but I'd always rather have a game delayed and come out polished and fantastic. I know some folks get kind of stressed about delays, thinking that it means the game is doomed to be bad, but look at Animal Crossing. That was delayed and the final product was so good. Deathloop piqued my interest when it was first announced at E3 2019. Its unique art style and time loop situation continues to excite me, even though we'll have to wait a little longer for it. It does beg the question though, what exclusives are still currently on time to release during the PS5 launch window? Quantum Error, Worms, Rumble, Jet, and The Pathless are all coming to PS5, but will also be on PS4. Oddworld Soulstorm is an exclusive to PS5, but available on Xbox One. Then there's Astro's Playroom, which is a 3D platformer and a sequel to Astrobot Rescue Mission, Godfall, and Spider-Man Miles Morales, and that's pretty much it. There are plenty of other games like Bug Snacks, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Dirt 5, Watch Dogs Legion, and some others that are also set for a 2020 release and will be available on PS5, but aren't exclusives. Even though there's not many out of the gate, Sony does have a solid lineup of exclusives to come just later down the line. So are you still stoked for the next generation of consoles? Does the lack of exclusive at launch mean you're waiting to buy? Let me know in the comments. Comments. What's going on with my voice today? Everybody get up. It's time to slam now. We got a real jam going down again. Welcome to the Space Jam, a new legacy. Here's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam, a new legacy. LeBron James has given fans a sneak peek of the Toon Squad jersey he'll be wearing in Space Jam, a new legacy. And it looks pretty fire. The Twitter account for the LeBron James Family Foundation unveiled a first look of the NBA star suited up in the new uniform, which he'll be showcasing on the basketball court in Space Jam 2. The colorful jersey sports the iconic Looney Tunes concentric circles, which wrap around the side of the uniform and is set against the powder blue backdrop with an orange trim. The only thing that would make it better would be if it echoed the shape of the uniforms in the NBA in the 80s. I just love a short short. Tress chic. It wouldn't make very much sense for him to be wearing a uniform from the 80s, but from a purely aesthetics point, it would make me very happy. Hopefully this guy doesn't show up and make LeBron cry. <laughs> the Matrix 4 is coming, but we got confirmation that someone won't be tumbling down the rabbit hole. Lawrence Fishburne has confirmed he won't be reprising the iconic role of Morpheus for Lana Wachowski's The Matrix 4, and admitted he, quote, has not been invited to return. According to The Wrap, Fishburne told New York Magazine that he wasn't approached about joining the upcoming Matrix sequel, even though Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss were both set to return. It doesn't seem like he's harboring any ill will, though. He told New York Magazine, quote, maybe that will make me write another play. I wish them well. I hope it's great. Fishburne's absence from the cast list might be because, spoiler alert for The Matrix Online, Morpheus was killed in the MMORPG that continues the saga of the Matrix movie trilogy. The game tells the story of Morpheus's attempts to recover Neo's body from the machines, and the machines respond by sending the assassin after Morpheus, who later dies from gunshot wounds. There's not much known about the plot of The Matrix 4, but the producers were reportedly looking for two actors who portray younger versions of Neo and Morpheus last year. And that was your Daily Fix. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up on the news, check out our video giving you the Batman Arkham series in 11 minutes. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Subscribe to the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, IGN.com. At last. Welcome, Neo. As you no doubt have guessed, I am Morpheus. It's an honor to meet you. No. The honor is mine. Please, come. Sit.